gonna stay at home any longer so I'm just gonna quickly head out to buy KFC and quickly come back home so that you know I can get some fresh air but at the same time I don't like you know stay in contact with someone else for too long and I'll be wearing my mask and I brought my hand sanitizer as well so you'll be fine there are still a few people hanging around at the bus stop but in general it's becoming like a ghost town <laughs> This is the only time I can film from this angle and you know, not have my double chin or disappear. <laughs> I'm currently waiting for my bus to go to Central to take away KFC because I've been craving KFC for quite a while and uh, now there's like nobody around which makes it easier to vlog I guess because there's no one judging me. Actually there are still a lot of cars like driving around and a lot of people getting off work I guess because the, that's the train station and there's a lot of people. Wait at the red line behind. Thank you. I'm done buying my dinner, so I'm gonna head back home right now. Can't wait to eat. <laughs> up a little late today. It's already 4 10. And it's my lunch menu for today. It looks a bit unappetizing like this but it's nice especially the fries. And yeah this is chicken cutlet from fish and chicks even though I ate KFC yesterday. I'm finally done editing this video. I've added the subtitles and stuff so now I'm just waiting for it to export and then I can upload it to YouTube. I also need to make the thumbnail for this video so that's what I'm going to do now. I know this looks unappetizing and I'm not really sure how it would taste because compared to last time, I used a different cheese. So I don't know if it would taste nice or not. And it looks very bland, so... <laughs> Probably have to add more salt and pepper after this. So I heat up my leftover mac and cheese from yesterday in the oven and it looks a bit gross right now but I'm sure it's nice. <laughs> So my graphic tablet just came in the mail today and actually I've been wanting to get an iPad and the Apple Pencil for quite some time now because I wanted to doodle digitally but I think like right now it's not the time to spend such a big amount of money so I decided to get a graphic tablet instead since it does kind of the same job just a different feeling. <laughs> I actually found the cheapest graphic tablet that I could find because I'm, I don't plan to do this like professionally anyway, it's just a hobby. So I'm going to spend the least money possible and also that you know I can save the money for an iPad and Apple Pencil next time. Probably at this rate I think I can only get it next year. So this is the Huion H430P digital tablet and I got it on Shopee for about $35 which is I think quite cheap as compared to the other tablets out there but of course this is not a professional tablet it's just a cheap tablet that people actually use to play the game also but it does the job of like you know drawing something digitally so that's why I got it. I mean I hope that one day I can still get my iPad and Apple Pencil so this will do for now.
does it feel like I'm unboxing an iPad? <laughs> This is the tablet. It's pretty small, but I think it's fine. And then we have the pen right here. As compared to the tablet, the pen is like quite big. <laughs> and we have the different accessories here. And the charging in on the connect the connection wire. The instruction that's here. I'm kind of lazy to try this out now, so I will try it later when I feel like it. This part of my table is super messy and I've been like procrastinating to clear like, this part of the table. Especially like all my stationery here, I don't even use them anymore. So I'm gonna like settle this part today and clear out all these lanyards. Like I don't even know why I need all these lanyards, I don't even know why I keep them, I don't even use them. Today's dinner is from Fish and Chicks. It's their what is this called? Fish fillet, fried fish. Oh, it's called Fish and eh? Fish and Chips. Yes. Oh my god, I just forgot what is this called. It's been a long time since I last ate fish and chips. That's why I always choose the chicken cutlet instead. But my dad said there was a one for one offer. That's why he bought this, and I'm on the receiving end of the one for one, I guess. <laughs> Because of the circuit breaker, I think I'll be staying at home most of the time, like 99% of the time. So I thought, you know, maybe I should spend this time doing something more productive other than just using my phone and playing games. So I decided to sign up for an online course on Coursera. Coursera? I have no idea how you're going to pronounce this, but it's C-O-U-R-S-D-A-R-A. But yes, I registered for online course on this website and most of their courses are like free seven days trial and then you have to pay for it after that but I managed to find one that is completely free recognizes your friends and your pictures that's also cheaper each time you read an email and a spam filter saves you from having to wait tons of spam I feel like ever since this circuit breaker thing started, I haven't been using my planner as much as I thought I would be because um, firstly my body clock is screwed up, I don't wake up at like the normal times that I'm supposed to be waking up so I lose track of which day it is and then because it's a circuit breaker and I'm staying at home, there's nothing for me to do I don't have any motivation or any like deadlines to meet so there's literally nothing for me to write on my planner. So now I'm just trying to use it as much as possible to plan like regarding my YouTube stuff. So like ideas I have and what I should try to accomplish within a day. So that you know I can upload more videos during this time and not be a lazy bum.
going to buy my dinner now. It's like 11 p.m. I'm not sure what's still open. <laughs> I want to eat mala, but I don't know if that store is open at 11, so let's check it out. <laughs> I think it's still open. You can see the lights are still on, so it's a good sign. I want to go hungry tonight. Managed to get my food. I need to fix my body clock, man. Like, I'm hungry during midnight because I'm awake, right? And I don't have food at home because we don't cook. So it's like, what am I supposed to eat when I'm hungry at night? And if I fix my body clock, this wouldn't happen. And it's very hard to talk with this mask on. So Channel News Asia uploaded a video on YouTube showing how Singapore looks like during the circuit breaker and it's so sad like everything is so em everywhere is so empty like the streets are empty okay why is he sitting there and yeah all the seats at the hawker centers and kopi temps are being cornered off so empty